the tacos are condomized. Time to, uh... What's so funny, Ella? It's a condiment. <laughs> They're now condomized. <laughs> I don't understand what's so funny. River Rats, you might be in for a treat, because if you're wondering what fatigue looks like, you're looking at it, and stupidity, probably. I'm sure, yeah, thanks. I I'm sure I'm gonna say a lot of dumb things, so uh, just soak them up the best you can, but me and Ryan uh, are out here looking for something big, and uh, hopefully it's gonna happen. We have water. It's a weird phenomenon. Oh yeah, we got like five inches of rain and the river came up three inches, so you know how dry it is. <laughs> but there is current, so that's kind of neat. Ryan's making a mad dash for the rapids. It's two foot deep over that. Well, it came up about two feet, so that makes sense. It's still too low for a boat. This is the dangerous water level where you you think you're you're good and you get stuck. But I'd let her rip. I'm hoping this rain breathes a little bit of life into this river. There's my old bud, the belted kingfisher. <laughs> What's up, bud? <laughs> yeah, that's lucky I hear. How many 50 pounders have you caught, Ryan? How many times have you had a belted kingfisher take a dump on your head? I'm seeing a correlation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's see what the sandbar looks like. Hopefully it's not stupid muddy on the back side of this thing. So the sandbar looks null and void. Well, I wouldn't call the sandbar completely null and void, but... No. There's a very specific spot, and outside of that, it doesn't look great. Yeah. So we came down here to fish this, and you've probably seen this in some videos before, because it's a gigantic, beautiful brush pile, and I don't know, they get me all giggity inside. Is it matted down from water, water or people? That does not look watery. Yeah, I'd say some of cancer. Well, hopefully it left us a few. Yeah. All right, we found our spot. <laughs> the spot found us. The spot did find us as I'm much as. Right down here. Is it? It doesn't look that muddy. It doesn't. This might might feel spoiled here. She's a little mucky. Not too bad though. It's gonna be plenty buggy. So yeah, I told you my kayak was full. I got my bag, I got camping gear in the hole, my bag on top of the hole, and then I have my cot on top of my bag on top of the hole. Then chair, and the back's empty, but it's only empty because I took the bait tank out. And we're sitting on the old back side of the log pile. And Ryan's probably gonna catch them all because that's what he does. I, I like that plan. Yeah, Let's I bet you do. Yeah, yeah, bite me. <laughs> Impl you're you're going to get the first fish about, what time is it? I'm going to get that 12 pounder out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to say 9.02. Okay. Because you can come right out of there, fall that log right into your bait. Yep. And slurp it. Now I'm going to get bit at 10.39. Okay. And he's going to be 20-ish. Okay. And then I'm going to leave for work about 5. Okay. And you're going to catch a 40 to 50 about. 5.30. 5.45. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way the trip's going. So I hate to be the spoiler of the, of the video, but that's what you're entitled to. I, I disagree. It's coming up. I'll take it, but I don't think that's how it's going to play. It's going to go. I'm going to get the 12 pounder out of the way. <laughs> and then the 50 pounder is going to come around 48 minutes later. And then we go home. We have it all hashed out. Like if you're curious about how flags plan, are. We have plan A and plan B fully intact. Right. I'm yeah. right though. This is what we're working with. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> nothing like a hand, possibly the biggest green sunfish I've ever seen in my life. Oh, there he is. That's Get something. Him. Yeah. That's something. Should probably cast him out. Yeah. That's the kill zone. I like that. I'm debating. I might put two in front of us and then throw one a ways down. Would that perturb you? No, no, okay. no. Just take it right by my kayak so after you're asleep, I can just right. shut the hook. Well, you can reel them in. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> That's never been an issue. <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem at all. 
All right, that's about right. All right, what do we got in here? A little bit of everything. Okay. Big bluegill, little bluegill. The hook sharp. Big bullhead, little bullhead. Okay, I want a big bullhead under this bobber. There should be a couple. I found him. There. Found him. Is he gonna let me catch him though? He ain't bad. Yep. Okay. Drag set to just a step below terminate. <laughs> All right, now it's a terminate. The fish pulls line off, we know we're talking a serious one. Yeah. Okay, so bullhead on that one, sunfish will go on this one. Drag's about right. About 18 pounds. Of sunfish? No, of drag. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had 18 pounds of sunfish right now. Maybe we'll put that big bluegill on. He's been sitting in the bait tank forever. I can't believe he's even alive. Curse bloosh! Startled my bullhead. I just got bit by my first bug. I don't know what it is. I'm probably gonna die. Probably. Not something you can just walk off. No. I think we got all the bases covered there. And my feet are nice and disgusting. Yeah, my kayak built. We're planning on sleeping tonight. <laughs> Good. Yeah. This is the very moment I've just accepted that I'm gonna have to wash everything when I get home. <laughs> I haven't even unpacked my sleeping bag from the last trip. It's still been in this dry bag. So it may be an interesting find when I pull it out yeah if we're gonna be fishing tonight this is about the best spot i could think of as far as confidence yeah even if we don't catch anything i'll be like there's no other place i would rather went to yeah a little butane in there we'll let her rip excuse me <laughs> that didn't sound healthy no it wasn't me i swear <laughs> All right, Ryan's drying his bed off. I think I will set mine up because a little happy hour's getting close. I mean, should probably reduce noise the most I can. It's gonna be right in the way if I get a bite. Don't worry, I got it. Yeah, thanks. I think it'll be in the way of everybody. There's a little grasshopper dude on it. Doop. Pretty high maintenance out here. Definitely should have brought the old boots. <laughs> I literally took them out of my truck for this. Good call, Spencer. Good call. Pretty much just accepted it's going to be a sloppy one. Yeah. Yeah. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Nothing to do. You just clean everything and you know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yum. What time did you say the first bite was going to be? 9.05. 9.05. It was going to be yours. Mine, on the bullhead. You're like 40 minutes, man. <laughs> no shit. You're 50. It's a long time. Hopefully I'm wrong. <laughs> I hope you're not. <laughs> I'd be okay with it. <laughs> Ooh. Exciting. Yeah. That was your bluegill. Yeah. Bluegills don't do that. No. Especially when they're that big. Right. Turtle found him delicious. Turtles are fans of bluegills. Yeah. Yeah, if we get a flathead under 10 pounds, I'm probably going to keep one. I might grill one when I grill that uh, spoonbill Sunday. There you go. Hopefully we just catch a 50 and fish it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 50 and done is fine by me. What kind of bug is that? Oh, he flew away. It was big. <laughs> toe bug. A, a toe bug? And what, where was it on your toe? He was like the size of my toe, so you call him a toe bug. <laughs> toe bug. He's pretty close to the size of my pinky toe. <laughs> That's saying something, because they're kind of fat pinky toes. 
We have to document my homeboy, the muskrat. Just doing, muskrat. Just doing muskrat stuff. <laughs> Original utter rudder. The OG river rat right there. <laughs> I do kind of like how they tail rudders and whatever. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Call them up, bud. <laughs> this is actually, this is not an elk bugle. This is actually Ryan blowing up his inflatable sleeping pad. Keep waiting for a bull elk to just show up and beat the crap out <laughs> I'm of us. I'm not even sure there's any air going in. <laughs> it's about the time fun stuff starts to happen. Like, um, for example, my sleeping pad is already getting soaked. So that's, that's swell. My strategy is I'm going to let it get wet on this side. And then when I'm going to go to bed, I'll just flip it over. We'll see how it pans out. All right, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> There's old Ryan's sleeping arrangements. It's pretty comfy. Well, that's a, not bad. It doesn't look like it, but <laughs> it doesn't matter what it looks like that's as long right. as it's actually comfortable. And there's a fish moving over there. Oh, bugs! Pull it down. Not worth it. Got him that time. Oh, he's solid in a log. Oh. So all those bugs that were flying overhead, we're just waiting for that light. Yeah. Eater. I'm eating him. Mm. Emma. Landed him. <laughs> mm. Oh, he did a backflip. Impressively. Beautiful. Morning. Because I'm mildly disappointed in the slow night of flat fishing, definitely gonna eat that one. That really has nothing to do with it at all. They're just delicious. This looks like a pig pen. Vaguely recall saying, I, at least it's not that muddy when we first uh, got here. <laughs> Dude. This guy right here is about the biggest flyhead I like to keep. Um, the nicer thing about these, that are like eight, nine, ten pounds, you can get the cheeks out of them. Like right in here. And then the slab of belly meat's nice and thick. So he's going to be wonderful. And I think I'm going to marinate him and grill him. So my plan is I'm going to get all this crap cleaned up. I'm going to bleed him out. And then once I get back to my truck, he should be bled out. And uh, I'm going to flay him. And then I'll run into town and grab a bag of ice and pack him in ice. So this meat is super duper fresh. And once I get home, I'm going to marinate him in... Uh, I don't know, I might go the classic Italian dressing. Um, or might get creative. I don't know, we'll see. But holy muddy mess. Yeah. Alright, grill's heating up. I am also heating up because it's kind of hot out. I honestly love this weather. Kind of weird. Probably weird for other reasons too, but I, I took a shower, I feel like a million bucks, and I bathed. Let's see what I did there? Cringy, I know the flatheads in Italian dressing because I'm in a hurry and it's simple and it tastes good. Yeah, so I got the fishes and you could lay tin foil down if you wanted to, but with these guys, it's not necessary because they have really firm fillets. And uh, I got one filet and one belly chunk. 
I think that'll cover the whole thing. So I cook these guys at like a medium to medium high because they're real thick and they take a while to cook and I want that, I don't want to burn the outside. I want it to sear so they don't stick to the, so it doesn't stick to the grill. But there's definitely a fine line to walk when it comes to burning it, cooking it, and undercooking it with pieces of fish this big. So um, experiment with things, try a bunch of different stuff and figure out what works for you. This is the best I've found and I don't have leftovers very often. I'm just drooling right now. All right, I'm gonna let you do your thing for a little while. Just for efficiency's sake, I think we're gonna heat up these guys. Get in there. I don't know how sanitary this is, but this is what I'm doing. I'm sure there's some reason I shouldn't be warming up tortillas and cooking fish at the same time. I'm going to do the flip, hopefully without too much sticking to the grill. Uh, we lost some. That's nice. That doesn't look pretty, but it'll taste delicious. Gotta get it before the deer do. Do you ever wear shirts with sleeves? Nope. I wouldn't, if I had delts like you, I wouldn't either. When you're Where looking you? looking jacked. After we work out. <laughs> yeah. Picking the prime ones. Well, they're getting kind of crowded, so. Yeah. Get in the herd. Yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> it appears we are in the ballpark, at least on that piece. Check the other one. Mm, that one might need a few minutes. Right on the cusp. Ellis talking trash over there about delicious food. <laughs> you just got a close up of you snorting. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that turns into a slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> that will. <laughs> Slide on over, little tortillas. Probably gonna break this guy in a couple pieces. Yep, get on there. There we go. About out of propane. Good timing. No, yep, plenty of propane accessories, Ella. <laughs> Thanks for asking. And here we are. Grilled flathead tortillas, lettuce. What else are we missing? A sauce. A sauce? A so sauce. Okay. Or a um, mustard. Ooh, I bet that mustard would go good on. The fancy mustard? Yeah. Uh, ooh, the avocado minis. It's a spread. Yes. Okay. So basically what this is gonna become is a Frankenstein fish taco, and Ella's just gonna have fish because she's a taco snob. What? Almost looks like chicken. Did you, did you let it rest? <laughs> it's not a steak, Ella. <laughs> Are you gonna be a taste tester? That's why I'm here. All right. Let me get you a fork. Ooh, the crispy end. Is that bad? Let's try the burn end. Okay. Let me try the... So the burn in, not so hot. Um, I mean, it's definitely burnt. Yeah. Yeah. Good, great, or just, yeah. I think it's good. Okay. Well done. You make everything so awkward. Uh huh. All right, I'm gonna get to my tacos, because these aren't going to be good. These are going to be great, because I'm gonna slather them with fun condiments like avocado, and whatever this mustard is. Garden fresh lettuce. Only missing cheese. Woody's being a real creeper right there. 
Ooh. The middle is really good. So we went from good to really good? Well, I think Not I, great yet? I've gone past the, the jerky part. Okay. <laughs> I'm like now into the, the meat. The meaty. This bits. is the best piece. That's why I saved it for you. That's the belly meat right there. The fish bacon? <laughs> the fish bacon. <laughs> yes. The tacos are condomized. Time to, uh... What's so funny, Ella? It's a condiment. <laughs> They're now condomized. <laughs> I don't understand what's so funny. Say it again. Condomized. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be G-rated. That? What's not G-rated about condiments? <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter. How is it? It's really good. Maybe even great. Can you chew any louder? Good. Alright, I'm going to uh, get back to eating because I'm, that's probably what I'm best at. If there's anything I was really good at, I'd say I was really good at eating. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Uh, feel free to go check out my podcast too. There's a link to it in the video description. Uh, either way, thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant. Ella's staring at me. It's kind of awkward. See ya.